Hello out there YouTube land, here's another a video of DIY and hope you guys enjoyed the video and I just thought I'd just make this video for you guys, uh, just something to watch and some maybe to learn. So, hope you guys um, like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and if you want to see more videos like this or just something else, just go ahead and just keep, keep watching and I'll keep posted. All right, here we go. Let's start the video. Hey, hello there, YouTube. We're gonna start the project, and we're gonna. I went ahead and I lifted up the vehicle. I put the jack stand underneath it, and so far I'm just gonna be working with one tire. I'm working with the driver's side. It's loose and I just need to take the tire off and then I look at the part. And so far I got the parts already. They had the parking stock at our nearest. Um, there is auto parts. Here's the parts here. Yeah, so right here is the parts. Right there's the, the part number. That one's the left side. That's the right side. R for right left for the driver's side and this is the part here I'm going to be replacing that's the part there brand new strut there we go the only one that I've kind of noticed that's a little different I compared it already to the old one to the factory On the factory is here, this one here. And I'm gonna be using that side there. That's so out. But that's just the part that I noticed that's a little different. But so far I checked online, I checked the I checked by the part number. It matches. Everything's good to go. It's it fits the 2009 Pontiac G5. And this one here is gonna be going on to the top. So I'm going to compare it again while I take the other one off, the old ones. And it should fit. Even on Amazon, I checked on Amazon. Everything's good to go. And these are my tools here I'll be using. I'm going to be using this little here, my little, this one's a good, a good toy here. My little torque wrench. But I'm mostly going to be using this here, my um, impact driver. That's what I use to take the tire off. It's a good tool, it makes the job a lot easier. And these are here, just little extensions here, but I'm gonna be going by the manual here too. There's the, the manual for it. Pontiac G5, 2005 through 2010. So I got a 2009. And I went ahead and I went, went, I went to the torque specs for the suspension for the strut. That's it here, and this is what I'm going to be going by right here, the strut. That's going to be at 55 foot-pounds, and your strut to body nut. It's going to be 15, that's the top. And then your strut to steering knuckle bolts, it's 89 foot-pounds. So I'm going to be going by here to tighten everything back up. So hopefully everything is going to work out okay, and... Let's continue with the project. Okay, here we go. Here's the driver's side. We're gonna be working on here, front. Driver's side here, the hood's open, and right here. So, we're going to be replacing this strut here. There's the front strut, this whole assembly here going down, and here, this whole thing we'll be replacing. I got the whole assembly saw, so. and we're we'll using the 18 millimeter nut. I'm going to be uh, unscrewing here, and then this one here, the bracket. 
where we unscrew that and there's another one right here underneath it that's where we're going to be getting 18 millimeter and this one here i'm going to go ahead and um unclip it under the bottom here there's a little clip just be careful and then you slide it out you try to do it with one hand it should be okay there you go this is a little clip you yeah, slide out that's your abs sensor so that one you just want to get out of the way that's the one you don't want to damage just tuck it back there and then i want to go ahead and i went ahead and i put some lube on here some penetrating oil some lube the one i just use is just the, the blaster the blaster spray i use and you just need just to get it loose so it won't be too hard but the tool i'm going to be using here is just going to be this one here to the ratchet so that's going to make my life a lot easier and if you don't have no no um drill like this you're going to be using the other tools like a breaker bar and all that stuff your sockets and you're going to be kind of like fighting with it so i'm going to just be using this one here so this tool i'll be using and i'll get back to you and on top of it here real quick i'm going to be unscrewing here this one here these three and the whole thing will slide down and i went ahead and i put the tire here because this whole thing is going to be coming forward this way so it'll sit on here so i won't have to damage this one here and all these cables here and here so it'll swing out this way so i'm gonna go ahead and um unscrew it now i'll get back with you i'm gonna try to make this video as short as i can okay i have to set up the tripod for you guys it's kind of hard for me to hold the phone at the same time so we're gonna aim for this one here i'm gonna take this off 18 millimeter off is your sway bar link I loosened it up a little and now I'm going to go ahead and take this one off here so this one here is in this hole here on the side Take the bolt off. The bolt is off right now. And this side, this side will will stay in there because it's kind of notched. So we'll do the, the bottom one here. Hold it. And then we'll go. This little bracket here on the side here. Let me see if you guys, so you guys can see it. Take it off the tripod real quick. All right. I just loosened this one just for now. It's it's loose. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and there's that bolt that was right here, and the other bolt that was right here. So I took it off. So I went ahead and I just put it here for now on the top bottom. They're staying 18 millimeter, but I just want to just put it organized. And there is that little electrical connector. I put it right here. Temporary. So that's your ABS sensor. I don't want to damage it. So this little bracket. Let me take it off. Here. Just take this off for now. Slide this out of the bracket. There, I got it out of there. And this other side too, slide it out. Slide this out of the bracket. It goes in one way and slides out, but kind of a little tough. Okay, got that out of the way. Go ahead and push this one back over here temporarily. Push that back there. So then this one here. Just go 
ahead and just put it right here for now. That's your ABS. The other connector is connected not to there, so I don't have damage or nothing. Just let it go down. And by the way, this strut is giving me kind of like not really problems, but every time when I go on a speed bump, I can really feel it and just getting wear and tear. And it hasn't been changed since 2019, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put in a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here. I'm gonna whack this. Hold on, I'll get back with you. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the hammer. I need both of my hands, so hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit these, hit these out. I put the foam back on the tripod. So I'm gonna be hitting these out here with the hammer. I don't want to hit it too hard. Damage the thread, so we can just go ahead and get the bolts. Put the bolts back on, just where it's flat right here, and then the bottom too. So while you're hitting it, you won't mess up the threads when you're putting the screw back. In. So right here, just put this back on, and go ahead and. this off and then take the bottom off now and there you go and then now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to hit this one out See, right here's the bolt. That's what the bolt looks like right here. See, that's where there's like a little notch. That's how far it'll get stuck in there. So then you put the bolt back in, make it flush right here, and then you hit the hammer on here so you won't mess up these threads and then it'll pop out. This one they put in here just for more security. So when you're on the road, nothing will get loose your bolts so that's what that is there I just wanted to let you guys know because that's the part where kind of got me confused when I was doing research and now I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out this one gonna be a sway bar link here okay got it finally got it in there there's like a little nut in there that's a get to hold on to come out oh, it is. this one just lift up a little bit go and this is your sway bar this one see so now this is getting loose see loose so this one here you can inspect it too this one your link make sure it's, it's good to go because that's your your steering I probably have to replace mine later on too so I'm gonna just upgrade that one get a new one down the road and I'll make a video how to do that one. So now I have one bolt holding it. I don't want to take this out right away because it's going to come forward. I want to go ahead and um, do the top. Let me go ahead and I'll uh, change that. Okay, there we go. So that one bolt is still holding on to it, and it's leaning against the tire right there. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. So I'm going to unscrew this one out. So I'm going to leave this one in there. There you go. There's that one. There. And then there's this one. Right there. And this one here. I don't want to take this one out completely because if I do, it's, the whole thing is just going to go down there. Your strut system. So I'm going to just try to just put it in just a little ways. Right there. I'm going to leave it right there for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take the other one out now. The bolt. So I just have it right there. See, so I'm going to put this back on the stand so you guys can see. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the picture. Oh, my tripod just broke. <laughs> That's what happens when you're trying to make a video. <laughs> yep, that's all in YouTube land. YouTube, here's my other tripod I'm gonna use. This other one here. The head just broke from here, here on the top. Oh gosh. So I'm gonna use this one here for now. Hopefully that will work. So. Okay, my tripod just broke for me, so I'm using my little one to go get by for now. So I got the two bolts out right here, and I just need one more. So I need another extra pair of hands, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out here. Take this one out. The bolt. So now this one's this one is loose. This one should be able to come down this way. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold this. And now this should be able to come out. Just get a little wiggle. A little bit. Careful not to hit our cables. Yep. Ah, this is a bad one. Wear and tear. Wear and tear. Weather. Damaged it. So, this is what it looks like. Oh. Okay, so oh, here's a new one. This is a new one that I'm going to be putting in there. Way. And this one here, the two is going to be coming out this way. So let's go over there and check it out. <coughs> so there's a new one, here's the old one. Yep, that's how it looks there. See, this one is all worn out here, it's starting to split. New one here. Let's match it up. It's good to go. They're the same size. And the one thing that's a little different here, and this one here, see, there's the two bolts here and here. They're good to go. There. And then your ABS sensor is over here. And this one is here. So, and then this one here, see, there's an extra. That's what I'm talking about, and this one don't have it. But everything else is good to go. The bolts, everything are in the same spot, same location. I'm gonna be taking this off here. It's just, it's just a little warning label. Spring under compression, do not remove nut. I mean, yeah, that's just safety feature to add on there. But, uh, 
I checked online, I researched it, I thought they gave me the wrong part number, the wrong part, but everything is compatible with the Pontiac 2009 G5, so mostly every, one of them that I just looked at has these two here, so I don't think this one really matters here, so this is the one I'm going to be using here for the ABS sensor, the connection. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in, and I'm going to be using the new bolts that came with it so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install it back in there so I'm gonna do that right now I'll get back with you YouTube. okay you too I got that back in there and I went ahead and I just hand tightened here just just hand tighten for now they have a little lock nut right here so I haven't talked that to specs yet so it's still hanging down and here I got to get it inside the bolts I had to line it up so far I got one so this one will slide back in here we'll slide back in and there we go sliding back in but I just have to slip this up a little little at a time and push it in there. Right. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and now, then I gotta put this one back up. I gotta line up the hole right there. So I got this one has to go in more. And then this one here has to go in back up to there. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this one back up. So I'm going to pause it for now and I'll get back with you. I'm going to go ahead and put those Okay in YouTube, I'm back. I got it on there. It took me a while. It took me like 15 minutes to get it on. Oh gosh. It's good to have, if you have a helper out there. So I got torqued to its specs here. I got that one back torqued. It was like uh, 89 foot pounds I think it was. And this was 48 foot pounds. I torqued it back. And I put the connections back on, the ABS sensor here. So it's good to go. And I torque these here to 15 foot pounds here. I use a torque wrench so everything is good to go. And hope you guys, oh yeah, I want to mention that um, when you're hammering these nuts back in right here, these two, all I'm using this hammer here, this is not gonna work. This is just a framing hammer I had, and these little notches here kind of messed up the bolts here. See, so it's kind of messed up there, so, but I'm not going to mess with this for another, I don't know how long. As long as I keep the vehicle and it's functioning, I'm good, but it took me a while to hammer that back in. But I used this one here, it's a little, like a little, like a little sledgehammer I used. I just whacked it into there, and it wouldn't. It worked. I don't want to really get too much and damage my this cable here. But everything is good to go. Everything's installed, and this is the same procedure to do on this other tire here, passenger side tire here. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing over here now. So I, I still have time. It's still daylight, and I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video out there. It was a good project and be safe and these times are changing and I don't know, viruses out there and just be safe wherever you go, all right people? Okay, I'm out of here until I make another video and I'll see you then, all right. Peace out. And share to subscribe if you liked it and share. I'm out. By the way, I forgot to mention, once you do this, this process here, this procedure of the front struts, replacing the front struts on any vehicle, just um, after this, make sure you get a wheel alignment so they can dial everything back in. Right now, it's just still functional. It'll get me, get me to town to do an alignment. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and probably take it in by the next day or the next day, whenever I have time, get a wheel alignment. Balance, but 
at least your tire is good for another year, two years, three years. Yep. So I just wanted to share that. Make sure you get a full alignment. All right, later. I'm out. Second time. <laughs> later.